hey guys welcome back to my channel in this very vlog i'm going to show you how to change uh lower hand suspension of uh, mercedes benz and also how to uh, remove and change uh the weakened otherwise a worn out uh, linkage absorber and as well as uh, the uh what we call this one the full or whole shock absorber uh, of uh, because uh, we want to replace uh, a spring that is broken so instead of that we need to use a wool shock absorber a new one we want to replace it to remove uh, to place it there in order to remove the uh, the broken uh, uh, spring so following this video I'm going to show you the car is uh, W43 commonly called compressor as this bench uh 2005 edition so we're going to i'm going to show you in this video how you can easily you know replace your shock absorber full shock absorber that has the spring and the absorber as well as everything that you need to see and also how to replace a linkage shock as well as well as a lower hand suspension of the car Follow me in this video. I hope you guys have been enjoying some of my uh, video in my, my playlist, how they do it. And the previous video I had about how I learned to become a mechanic in a day. So let's follow this. I'm going to show you this very easy way you can easily change your shock absorber if you there's time for it. Now, follow me in this video now. Yeah, come. I learned to become a mechanic in a day. Serious. <music> This is the linkage, linkage, uh, shock linkage, and this is the main shock, the main shock of Mercedes Benz Compressor 2005, um, 180. So we're going to change this in this video. I'm going to show you how we're going to change this shock. Okay. This, so the reason for changing is the spring up here has. Uh, it's broken. It's broken. So in that wise, we're gonna change this. This uh, compressor C180. Once in the shock, the whole shock. We got some of the uh, tools needed. We got 18. We got this. Uh, this very one. Obviously, I'm going uh, 4158. As well as this very one. So all these tools is going to be used and then we start to change the shock. First thing, we need to make sure this is the way the shock stands. I mean, the head of the shock of the uh, compressor uh, 180 bench. So we just need to, first of all, remove the, the broken one, this one inside it that is broken the spring but we're going to remove the wall spring that uh, the wall shock absorber both absorber and everything and this is the reason why we got the wall set of the shock here which have the absorber inside also have this uh, the spring and uh, make sure that this one the new one we're going to put in there actually it's fairly used one and uh, it's going to be it's already certified has been okay here is the shock that actually uh, I want to replace and I'm going to do that uh, I'm going to be learning how to do it because I have experts with me MK engineer who is going to actually do this task for us guys and also I need to show you this is the lower hand suspension that we need to replace new one uh, as well as the, the linkage uh, absorber this very one so let's go on to the task now I have to bear down so we just need to jack the car. So we try to remove what do we need? This one? Okay. Main <laughs> So we're not trying to remove them now. Okay. In order to remove the uh, this very shock.
so this is broken uh, spring that needs to be replaced so because you don't we, uh, there's no point buying just the spring the best thing is to replace the wheels shock so that's why the car has been jacked up and the tires need to be removed let's continue to follow the procedure in this video This is the uh, linkage which we really want to uh, put back into the car. We want to replace the, the one in the car. We want to replace it with this one. And this is a lower ham suspension. Yeah, right side. already worn out. Normally start from the top, then go to the bottom of the linkage. side on the, the left side is all is they are intact this has no it doesn't need to be changed all the, the lower suspension the linkage and also the tie rod are okay so we are working on the second side which is the right side the other side
ya. Yeah. This is the uh, absorber, the broken, uh, the spring, the, the one that has got its broken spring. As you can see, the spring is broken right here to the side. It's not there. It's not completed. So, and uh, this is worn out on top right here. So that makes this absorber is not good. So we're now replacing this with this very one, which has uh, this very one shock about this it's got a spraying and absorber yeah, in good shape so it needs now to be replaced I'm gonna put it back now that is how the engineer is trying to pull it back One thing important is to make sure that the absorber is the same like the um, the, the, the one that's the old one that was there. You need to make sure it's the same, same model, same kind of specification so that it will really fit into that. removed now this is the the one out uh, this one is a one out lower hand suspension so let's compare to the new one as you can see this one is shaking because it's one out so compared to the new one the new one is very stiff it's not shaking so that's why you know how the lower suspension is damaged by checking out how you know this is very solid it's not moving but this one is shaking the, the rubber down there is shaking now putting it back it has to go into those uh, side of it has been uh, put to this one. What's the name of this one, sir? Linker. What do you call this one? Mm. Linker, uh, the, the stronger one of uh, linkage. Mm. We have the stronger and what they call 
elastic one. So people will normally call this elastic, but it's not as strong as this one, part of this linkage. They all make up the linkage absorber. So this is the uh, the softer one, and this is a stronger bone, and this is a softer bone. <laughs> In terms of the metallic, how strong they are. Having done both the lower hand suspension and the linkage uh, shock, we now need to put the wall shock, which has the spring and the absorber. There now. I'm going to tie this up now. I just also helping out. I mean, I've been giving the tabs to so tighten up this very one. As you can see, I've been doing that. So thank you very much guys for watching this video. I hope you must have learned one of those things on how to you know, replace a worn out uh, shock, the full shock, which contains the spring and the absorber, and also replace a worn out uh, linkage shock, as well as the uh, lower hand suspension. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please kindly share it to other people, and also don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel, press the notification bell, uh, so that you get to know when next I put on new video especially on my series how they do it this is it thank you very much guys for watching and much appreciation to engineer mk mk of tibre uh mechanic uh, which have actually shown me how this is done they actually practically did this and also shared the knowledge with you guys thank you so much guys please share this video and we hope to see you in the next one thank you guys there you go learning to become a mechanic in a day